Am I on? Am I ready? Let's go. Let's do this. Are you ready, brother? What's up? What's up? It seems like I haven't been here in so long. I know. know. What the the fuck, bro? You went to Bob Seger. I went to Bob Seger, but we didn't go together. I see you. I know, right? (laughs) Damn it. Seriously, this is a long time, bro. Um, Like um, two weeks. Well, I had a cold and I missed the show. Yes. And I couldn't. I couldn't do anything. And then, and then the week after that was Bob, Bob Seger, Seger, which we both went, but we didn't go together, which is really weird. I was trying we to see you. Go to shows Mom together. Mom says she, she saw you. You guys yeah. were waving. How come I couldn't see you? Uh, I don't oh, know. Oh, let's wait because I have a four eyes now and I can't fucking see anything. Yeah. yeah. And I had my glasses on. Are you you still know what? Couldn't see me? When I wear my glasses, even in those big arenas, it's still blurry to me. I don't know if it's because there's dark. so much people and it's yeah. smoky. And, yeah. Know. Yeah, what a fucking show! Huh? Oh God, he was amazing. Oh, he was my amazing. God, I would so play some Bob Seger, but um, Fresno. I mean, um, uh, YouTube and Facebook and um, all the attorneys and the lawyers—they don't like me playing music. I would love to. So now I can't. I can't. I, or I would. I would love to because that man has a catalog of music that blew my mind away. Awesome. Just awesome. And sounded great, too. For 73 years old, I mean, he was just awesome. On point. Hit after hit. Songs that you forgot about. Yes. It's like, oh, man, remember this one and that one. Just a, the night never stopped. It seemed like he was just awesome. Full of energy. Oh, yeah. Incredible voice. The best. And so, yeah. Um, I haven't seen my brother in a long time. So let's cheers, dude. Like, Cheers. What's come up? On, what I the know. Fuck, dude, trying to stay away from me. <laughs> What'd you make for me? Tell everybody. They're just chiladas. That's it. Mm. Mm. So good. There's something about beer, con chile, con limon, con tomato sauce that if you never tasted one, well, that's probably because you're white. <laughs> right? They're missing out. You're missing out, man. You need to get in on this. God, this is definitely a Mexican it. American thing. This is definitely a Mexican thing. It's 100% uh, uh, a Fresno thing. Oh, yeah. So you want to taste this. It's fantastic. And here's the thing here's the truth. Everybody knows I don't even like beer. That is true. I'm not a big beer drinker either, unless. There's some kind of tequila involved, which is... Something special. It's better be really good. Yeah. Yeah. But micheladas are mm, sabrosito. All right. So anyway, um, let's get started because uh, this is going to be a fun show. I have an amazing guest and she brought, it uh, looks like, some friends. And I yeah. want you guys to clap your hands. Can't I want wait. you guys to get together and have a good time tonight. Don't be shy. All right, but before that, since I haven't seen my brother in a couple of weeks, which is very unusual, we're going to do what I call memory from the vault. Yeah, let's see. Which one did you bring up? All right, let's so here's see. the story. Here's the story. Okay, so um, I was single for the very first time when I was in my 30s. We're talking 34, 35, something like that. Before that... I was um, practically married since I was 17 years old. 17, yeah. So I'm a single woman in my mid-30s, really with the mentality of a um, teenager, because I've never been out. This is no lie. And so um, I start going (laughs) out. I start going to clubs and stuff, you know, just dancing and having a good time. You start to see the same people over and over. Right, yeah. Right? And finally, this one young man was like, hey... Do you want to do X with me? <laughs> <laughs> and I was all, um, this is no lie. This was literally my reaction. Um, what's that? <laughs> <laughs> no lie. Dude, I didn't know what that was. I never heard of it. So he was like, you know, ecstasy. And then this is my other true answer because my brother, it, my brother has settled down and calmed down. But my brother was the baddest, the craziest, the rock starist. <laughs> did everything, tried everything, and so my answer was, um, I was like, "Well, what's that?" He goes, "You know, X, man. It'll make you feel good." And I was all, "This was my answer." I was like, "I don't know. I have to ask my brother." <laughs> and his face was like, um, "Okay." Confused. But I didn't care. Like, I wasn't going to do any drugs. I never did drugs before. I didn't even drink yet at that point in my life. Yeah, that's right. No, I didn't drink. drink. 
No. So I was like, I don't know. That sounds weird. I never heard of that before. And so then, and don't forget the show, show the pick of me and my brother at that time, because um, this, is when, this is when we first became, well, you were single at the time. This is when I first became single. Look how bad it has, dude. Look at us. That's at the Motley Crue concert. That was at Motley Crue, yeah. That's at Bobby Salazar's, <laughs> Bobby's, I believe. yeah. And so, you know, I'm single for the first time. And who am I going to hang out with? I'm alone, you know. I got, I got my bro. And so I call up my brother. I really did. I was like, hey, um, Andre, um, <laughs> have you ever heard of ecstasy? <laughs> <laughs> and he goes like this, yeah, why? And I go, um, some dude wants me to do ecstasy with him. Uh, do you remember what your answer was? Tell him. <laughs> it was Fuck no, that dude just wants to get in your pants. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what ecstasy is about. And so, um, I, and so I was like, I was like, oh, okay. And so he, I was like, have you ever done it before? And you were like, no. Remember? Yeah, I had actually at that time I hadn't tried ecstasy no. yet. No, you hadn't. This is the funny part of the story. This is why the funniest. This is why the story is so damn funny because I'm literally like, I'm like. I don't know. I have to ask my brother. And then, um, brother, do you know what ecstasy is? Yeah. No, don't do it. And then I'm like, have you ever tried it? No. And then, and then two weeks later, I'm not kidding. Two weeks <laughs> later, my brother calls me up and goes, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is true. Yeah. I, I tried ecstasy and I liked it. <laughs> I did oh it with some God. friends, and I did it with uh, Kylie. Yes. I did it with Kylie, yeah. My brother was like. Are you watching Kylie? Because I, I know you, you remember You better be this. watching, girl. You remember that one time? <laughs> My brother told me all about it. So you were like, dude, I tried that shit ecstasy. And you go like this. Everything just feels so good. Everything just felt so great. <laughs> I remember that when I was driving home, the steering wheel on my truck was just so great and just the air hitting you. I mean, just everything was so enhanced. It was ridiculous. You, I remember you telling me that this car, your car seat was just so luscious. Right, yeah. And what that shit does to you, it just enhances everything. I mean, just anything and everything. Yeah, so, okay, well, anyways, that's my memory from the vault. And that was probably, oh God, like 10 years ago or more. Probably more, yeah. <sighs> God, time flies, man. But still to this day, I haven't done it. Um, I am now an official alcoholic. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't do I don't I don't I don't smoke I don't do drugs but I do like to have a cocktail one or two. Who doesn't? Every night. You no, know, I want to put the lemon tree to work again, man. Yeah. Oh you yeah. You know what I mean? Make some margaritas, tequila Ooh. shots, homemade, homemade lemonade. Yes. Oh my god, it's good for the chicken too. That's what I did today for Martin's dinner. Do you know that actually lemons are good for even like um, cleaning? Yeah. To uh, you know, it's antibacterial mm -hmm. naturally. Instead of using bleach, you could throw it in your garbage disposal. Mm -hmm. It's good for your face. Yeah, I use it for all, of, all, the, all kinds of different things. you have things. a lemon tree too, right? Yes, yes. I have two lemon trees that aren't producing yet, but I have a lemon tree in my... I have a lemon tree. My neighbors behind us, I have to show you the lemon tree. They had a tree that was so big, I didn't even know they had a lemon tree. And so they chopped down a tree. And so now, I'm not kidding you, in my backyard, I have a lemon that's the size of a small pumpkin. Nice. Yeah, it's pretty dope. And let me guess, they don't use it and they probably no. don't care for it right. Yeah, Yeah, I just um, pick them up because they fall on my side of the tree. Right, so, yeah, um, yeah we're going to get some lemonade. We're going to do some good drinks with that when summer comes. Margaritas, I was thinking about tequila. some tequila oh with some 7-Up with some lemon. What does that sound like? That sounds good. Does that sound good? But sometimes just, you know, to have that good premium tequila that we like and just over mm. ice with just... Oh, now you're talking crazy. With just, no, but just one. Not like the old days, with just with some good lemon, you know, over it. Remember that? Oh, you just want to have one. Just one. Just yeah. one. Yeah, okay, Alice Cooper. That's how ah. it starts. Yeah. Okay, Nikki Six. <laughs> we'll just have one. That's why he doesn't come over anymore, because there's no just have one. It turn Oh, you mean one bottle? One bottle. <laughs> Remember those days and then kill Woo! that bottle, get in the Corvette and go get, get more. Some more. Hell yeah. And now he has a Corvette. Ooh. Ooh, it's back. The Did bitch I just is say back. It? The Did bitch I put is it back. out there? <laughs> 
Hell yeah. Okay, so the next show, what we're going to do is possibly, if you're comfortable, we're going to talk about the days when we used to go out in the Corvette, memory from the vault. We might have some pictures. we got to look some stuff there's, up. Uh, yeah, there's actually good memories of us racing the Corvette, going over 100 miles an hour. In the rain. In the rain. I remember Drunk. that one. And, yeah. Um, we're still alive. Thank you, yeah. Jesus. Thank you, Mary. <laughs> Thank you, Joseph. Don't I don't act like that anymore. But yeah, those were no, the we've good, good, good days. Yeah. yeah. Well, we got some good stories. That'll be maybe next week's memory yeah, of, from yeah. the vault. I'm down for that. Yeah. All right. All right. So, um, let's see. Um, real quick, I just want you guys to know that since 1999, I have been making my own handcrafted soaps and lotions in my kitchen. And they are all natural, and they are scrumptious. They are delicious. Don't eat them. Although they smell good, don't eat them. And sometimes just, you want to eat them like that. Yes. That cookie one that you make in December. I make a cookie one in December. It's gingerbread. This is vanilla. I have raspberry. I have fragrances for men and women. Um, I have fragrances that both men and women would enjoy. And the custom one that you make for me because I love patchouli and sometimes patchouli could be really overwhelming and strong. So she makes me a lotion with a hint of patchouli in it and it's just awesome. Yes. I call that one fire because fire. it's very spicy. <laughs> yeah. And men and women love that one. Uh, this happens to be vanilla. This is my number one seller. But I have a lot of fragrances. Everything is made with olive oil and avocado oil. There's no animal fat in it. There's very little preservatives. So if you want to help a sister out, you want to help me out, you want to purchase one of these, just um, get on my website. Yeah. Yeah, at uh, dragonflycompany.com. Smell original, man. Don't smell like the rest, you know? And I've been told that my fragrances last all day, and you could fill them on your body all day long. And the thing that I attribute that to is the fact that I simply make it with better products. Um, you know, commercial soaps and lotions have a lot of water, a lot of alcohol, a lot of pig fat instead of oil good oils and so um the fragrance the fragrance wears off and um you if you can't feel it after a couple of hours so i hope that you guys check out my website or you could always purchase uh, enchanted nails so all right um i'm gonna like take a little quick break here um, well, after after we play a song, I hope that you guys are watching. I'm I really love playing local music and um, local videos. So if you guys out there have good quality videos with good sound, send them to me. I'll play them to you. And right now, I want to play Savage Inc. These guys are from Fresno. Their next show is April fifth at the Fulton Fifty Five. Um, there will be closing with DK Ravel's Pirate Radio. So this is going to be rocking. That's going to be a good show. That's going to be a super, super good DK's show. DK's an old friend of mine. So, so after this, right now, we're going to play a rocking video, and then we're going to go into the dude that I call Badass of the Week <laughs> because he really loves rock and roll. He's a badass. He um, wanted to party with his wife for her last days to choir a riot. Um, I, hope, I hope you got his uh, picture, Mr. Wizard. All right. Okay, so listen, guys. I hope you guys are watching. This is Savage Inc., and uh, I'll see you in two minutes.
out on someone. I knew what a quarter was. Are we ready? What's up? Okay, what's up? What's up, friends? Now that no. fucking band rocks. What do you think? Oh, we're there. Are you guys watching, Savage? Damn, if you guys we are, are watching, there. Say something, make a comment. I hope you loved that. I hope you loved that Fresno yeah, that because we dug show. that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I can't wait. My brother's like, we have to go see this band. They're good. And I was like, it's at Fulton 55. <laughs> like, we're there? We're and there. I was like, Tony Martin... That's my dude. We're going to go. We'll be there. We're going to be there. Okay, so I hope you guys um, enjoyed that video. I do nothing but local videos. I do nothing but local restaurants. And um, 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 except for my badass of the week. Um, I'm not sure where he came from. It wasn't <laughs> Fresno. We cannot claim him. Okay. It sounds like somebody from Fresno would do this kind of shit, though. But the thing is. There's is, crazy people everywhere, though. Yes. Everywhere. Oh, my God. Okay, I can't wait to talk about my badass of the week because this is kind of how. <laughs> okay, first of all, my brother just found out how old he actually is because I was thinking this is a 70 year old man. Uh, he's 58. <laughs> Okay, you can find him. Um, just go ahead and Google. But what happened is um, this guy got in trouble. That's his mugshot because his wife was in a nursing home and her dying wish was to um, party with him, to die at home with him. Which that should be everybody's wish, to die at home. And you know. so he got in trouble. I don't know. Is there a law against... Um, Breaking your wife out of a nursing home. <laughs> I mean, if it was her wish, I, that shouldn't be. I don't know. know. He I mean, snuck I her out. That. He snuck her out. <laughs> <laughs> and then all they did was meth. <laughs> they did meth all night. And then they did. Um, he said that they had sex all night. <laughs> I'm not kidding. And they listened to her favorite rock band, which was Quiet, Quiet Riot. Riot. <laughs> <laughs> and so. That's pretty funny. And so I'm like, um, I don't know why he got in trouble for this, man. Okay. What else more could you ask for? How I want to go out like that. <laughs> <laughs> With Billy Idol playing. Oh, I mean, yeah. I mean, Hell huh. yeah. Sex all night. Yeah. Rock and roll, Rock and all, roll night, all night, party every right? day. They did it, and he got in trouble. And I'm saying, you know what? My hat's off to you, old man. Badass of the week. You accomplished your wife's last, last wishes. wish. Yeah, so How you know what I mean? That's that? awesome, yeah. Because you know what? He went like this. I might get in trouble, but you know what? Fuck it. She's on her deathbed. <laughs> I mean, fuck it, you know? How much trouble can you really get in? For someone's last request, you know? I mean, and if that's what they wanted to do, that's I mean... That's what they wanted to do. You know, I mean, I don't I don't agree with the meth part. I don't do that Th kind of shit. But, but guess that what? That was their thing. But guess what? That's what they want to do. And fuck it. It's their Why last request. Why can't people do yeah. what they want to do? Okay? I'm going to probably want to drink some tequila. <laughs> oh, you know it. <laughs> I'm going to want to see some fireworks or something. And I love the whole sex all night part. And listen to <laughs> Quiet Riot. Bang your head? Yes. Hell yeah. That sounds pretty fun. I mean, yeah. So, um, like Frank, Frank Sinatra says, they did it did their, their way. way. 
That was hardcore <laughs> badass of the week. You can look him up. If you want to make some comments, because I'm not really sure what he got arrested for, I think it's because she died and then he had to call the police and they were like, and he was like, she was dying anyway. She was on her deathbed. You know what I mean? But then there was meth involved. She probably so. had a heart attack, you yeah. know, a little Who bit knows? too much. But she, wanted, but she wanted to go out her way. That's and exactly that's, yeah. right. I feel it was very, a little bit creepy, but also very romantic. Am I right or am I wrong? I agree 100%. I think you know? people should do it the way they want to fucking do it. I think people should do whatever they want to do. They're not hurting anybody, so why That's not? That's right. She was happy. She had a good time. And it was her last wishes, so fuck it. Why not? She got to hear some good music, so yeah. my hat's off to you, crazy old <laughs> meth addict dude that likes Choir Riot. I don't give a damn. Do your own thing. Uh, okay, he got charged with criminal neglect and theft and receiving stolen, stolen property. property. <laughs> was the stolen property his wife? <laughs> That's funny, yeah. This was out of Minnesota. No, this was not Clovis. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. So um, I'm going to introduce my next guest. But before that, we're going to do one video. And then I'm going to bring Ellie Rodriguez on. Yeah. Okay, guys? All right? Okay? Is everybody ready for Ellie? She's been on my show before. She does comedy. She does all kinds of cool different shows, which we're going to talk about. But right now, I want to play a local rap video. I hope you guys dig it. This is Mars King. And this video was shot right here in Fresno on Shaw and Brawley. And the name of the song is called Guys. So I hope you enjoy. Let's do I it. I hope you guys dig it. Yeah. 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 Now you vibe so sick. You ain't never met a guy like this. Uh -huh. Shawty, you the sh you know your vibe so sick. But shawty, you ain't never met a guy like this. Yeah, shawty, you ain't never met a guy like this. So my mama, you ain't never met a guy like this. Got me all the way you drippin', cause your vibe so sick. But shawty, you ain't never met a guy like this. Yeah, shawty, you ain't never met a guy like this. So my mama, you ain't never met a guy like this. Uh, feel like a rich, yeah, dog. She said she love it how a nigga get that brick off. Trying to keep my wrist wrong I'm off that burp, I'm off that cushion, I'm off that hand dog uh, Got gold on my wrist, gold on my neck I'm speaking the truth, I don't mean to flex yeah. My time is right now, and I'm coming up next Ay, Say my time is right now, and I'm coming up next I've been a major these booze dog, I ain't got nothing to prove dog My nigga shoot at your crew dog, we be getting baby and boo dog How did they come in to flex, huh. put that shit all on my neck huh. Yo bitch, she all on my dick, huh. dripping all over my flex Yeah, I keep it poppin' like a frat party Get at the bottle, let them hoes come and get it poppin' You and your bitches, that's for sure gon' bring the ratchet out you And if I'm drunk, then I'm a product, fuck the ratchet out you You the shit, you the vibe so Send me a pic from your iPhone Girl, you the list, uh-uh Yeah, yeah Shorty, you the shit, you know your vibe so sick But shorty, you ain't never met a guy like this Yeah, shawty, you ain't never met a guy like this So my mama, you ain't never met a guy like this Got me all over your drip, know your vibe so sick But shawty, you ain't never met a guy like this Yeah, shawty, you ain't never met a guy like this So my mama, you ain't never met a guy like this So many, you ain't never met a guy like this I'm telling you, ain't never met a guy like this I'm telling you, ain't never met a guy like this Yeah, yeah What is up, Fresno? What is up, Fresno Vibes? Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. And I want everybody to get their hands together. This is my first and only guest of the night. This is Miss Ellie Rodriguez. Yeah! Hi, Woo! everyone. Hi. Um, my, my host has been hitting the sauce a little bit. She has another guest tonight. But uh, <laughs> I can't help it, though. Ellie her knows me. Her brother made this. Oh, my God. Mm. Always good, huh? It's so good. So good. Like, I, I, I can tell that's not her first one, either. <laughs> <laughs> I had a couple at home. I have to loosen up. I have to get the tonsils nice and warmed up. Yes, I do. Definitely. If you're a Hispanic and you're not drinking alcohol at home, especially tequila or Modelo's, you're not Mexican. That's right. Thank you. <laughs> right? You feeling me? Yes. Yeah, that's what um, I'm talking about. Earlier, you're talking about the lemons and stuff like that, how you like you made those into like a cleaning thing. Yes. I mean, like, you, you, you yes. 
Um, I tried that when I was little. My mom got so mad at me. She slapped my hand. She's like, those are for tacos. Oh. <laughs> don't waste them. Yeah, don't waste them. Those cost 30 cents each. That's and I'm like, true. But you picked those from the neighbor's, lot, the, the neighbor's backyard. She's like, don't talk back to me. It doesn't matter. Yeah. That's for all the tacos we're going to have this week. Every night. Because oh. we marinate it in the meat. Oh, yeah. The carne asada. Oh, man. We just had those last night. Oh, lemons good. go with everything. I don't know. We Lemons is... Just, um, we put it in our drinks, we yeah, put we it in everything. our food. <laughs> that is true. It's good stuff. But anyways, listen, Ellie, it's been a while. I think you were on one of my first shows, man. Yeah, I was like... Uh, you like show number two. Yeah. I know, it's been a long time. How have you been? I've been good. I've just been working. I've been hustling, you know, doing that grind stuff. I um, like to grind too. Um, of course, you know, I'm do I do comedy. I know it. And um, I, I've been doing that, but I kind of expanded more. Now I'm into, like, the, um, it's called performing arts, which is, like, drag. Mm -hmm. And, like, I started introducing more, doing those kind of shows. Yes. Where, like, it's a, um, drag, if you don't know what drag is, it's um, a, a, a female impersonation where uh, they, they come on and they impersonate females in a really high, um, I want to say, like, higher tier, like, make it, like, really over the top. Yes. But it's fun. Like, if you've never been to a drag show in Fresno or anywhere, Anywhere, it, like, it, it's fun. Go. Don't yes. go to Fresno. It, it, the show's here, okay, okay. But, like, go somewhere like Vegas or L.A. Oh. or Sacramento. Oh, oh my God. The oh shows my are, God. Yeah. We've done that before, huh, brother? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the shows are fantastic. <laughs> like, like They're don't very entertaining. You have to have entertainers who are over the top and exciting to go out, like, to entertain yes. you and stuff like that. And yeah. I, yes. They got to look good. Yeah. And when you go, when when you, that's the whole point. I mean, it is entertainment. Like you said, um, they got to look good. They got to sing good or they got to dance good. Something. I mean, these people put on a show. That's all it is. It's a great show. Yeah. And, and I, okay. I'm not trying to talk about it. Like, like I love the shows of Friends. It's just like, it's the same thing over and over. I want stuff that's different. You know, that's why I, when I went to a show, I was like, I'm paying $10. I don't want to see the same thing every week. I want a little different. I want exciting. I want jumping. I want Stuff I wouldn't see like Circus Delay, you know, like you know, like. Hmm. Well, Ellie, maybe that's what you should make that happen. And I am, girl. We, oh, well, girl, we do this in Tulare now. We do this Ooh, in Monterey. Well, okay, what are your shows like? Tell me, I'm excited. Girl, instead of telling you what my shows are like, how about I show you right after the break? That sounds good. She, yeah, I brought she's you guys got a, a little five clip. Clip of our shows. If you do not like our shows, I would gladly refund your money back if you came to one of my shows. Is that good? Mm -hmm, that good. Okay, when's the next show though? Let's uh, talk about that before we before oh, I play yeah. my next video. Like, where and when? March 9th, to Larry, California, at a venue called Barmageddon. It's a uh, one twenty six East Kern Avenue. Nice. And then after that, our next one after if you can't make that one is March thirtieth, in Larry, California again, and then that's uh, Barmageddon too. Now, what about Fresno, man? I live in Fresno. I need a Fresno show. Luckily, we're starting to expand. Uh, we actually expanded outside of Fresno, but now we're coming back into the valley because we have a lot of people who are like, come to Fresno, come to Fresno. Yeah. We actually That's did, good. That's yeah. a good sign. Yeah. We have people who are like, please, they're driving from Fresno to go to Tulare because that's how good our shows are. Oh, my God. And I can't wait. Yeah. So we actually have a, a, a show called OK Work. It's a competition show where people can compete, like if they're, they're new to drag or if they're like established. OK, here's the thing. What if I want to be in this show? Do you have to be a boy? Can you be a girl that dresses up in drag? Is there rules? No, actually. See, I am one of the few people who allow females to come in. If you want to do drag, I consider drag whatever I'm gonna do form some you want to do. There you go, girl. <laughs> Hell yeah. Do the J-Lo with the hair up do and everything. Do J-Lo. Mm. Yes. Like, you can come in and compete. You don't have to be just a guy. You, Think you, you can come in. Thing? Yes, you don't. How's that song go? <laughs> I like the, um, the, uh, the one, the Waiting yeah. for Tonight. Oh, Biggie yeah. song. <laughs> <laughs> um, when you would be here in my arms. Yeah, oh, yeah. bro. Yes. yes, we need to go karaoke. Okay, let's go. <laughs> we're gonna have a good time. Um, but yeah, we're one of the few shows. I actually have a performer who her name is her name is Ivana, and mm -hmm. she is she's a fire artist, and she actually you'll see her in the Ooh. videos, and she's um she's actually a cis uh, cis, uh, cis uh, cisgender female, which means it's a born female, but she uh, performs in drag. Oh wow. Yeah, so like I welcome everyone in my shows. No one's no one's. That's how it away. should be. Yeah, that's how it should be. Yeah, there we should be no there we should be no around. rules in anything except for driving. <laughs> yeah, I'm I, I, I'm gonna have to like slow down on you because like I think don't run into each other. There's got to be a lot of rules in driving. This is important. 
I'm lucky though. I have a I have a criminal defense uh, a sponsor named Jonathan Rooker, so I might have to use him. Hey, <laughs> give me his number. <laughs> he he sponsors your shows, huh? Yeah, I've seen that. Yeah, it, very it, cool. It, it, it's very funny because like a lot of times like uh, people get drunk and stuff like that, and we have them. We we say we say his number throughout the show. Like we have five five nine. We'll have people memorize it, and by the time they're leaving the show. Don't remember that number so bad that like when like if they ever get pulled over, they're like, oh yeah, five five five. Nice. You know? So it works out either way for our our sponsor and us. So that's right. He's but, getting business, and they're um they're getting good representation. Yes, he is one of the top. <laughs> he is a scientist. He is a lawyer. This guy, this guy has so many degrees. It's ridiculous. No way. Yeah, it, like you should have him on your, your show one of these days. He's a very he's a very funny guy. He's funny too. Yeah, he's yeah he's actually practicing stand up comedy. What? Yeah, because like, not not being a scientist and a lawyer. How does he enough. have time? Yeah, right. <sighs> but apparently, he makes the time in there. He does it. Okay, you got to give me his number because he would have a good time on my show, no? Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. Plus, he loves a drink too. <laughs> and that's what we do. We always have one, never more than that. We always yeah, are just very one. just Maybe two. one. Maybe three. I don't know. There's a couple bottle cans down here. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't even like beer. I had my tequila before I got here. Everybody knows that. <laughs> Okay, okay, so let's play another video, and then um, we are going to, we will, we will intro in with, um, yes, with the, what was that called, Barmageddon? Uh, Barmageddon, it's our drag night, it's a sample of what we do there, and to, to give you a taste of flavor of what Tulare has to bring in drag nights. Okay, so Mr. Wizard, if you will, let's do this, let's do um, 40 Watt Hype. And then we'll 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 come back with the Barmageddon, and then um, you will introduce me to my next guest. How's that sound? That sounds awesome. Uh, let's do it. Okay, the, guys, this is Forty Watt Hype. He's this is one of the best bands in Fresno. They have a gig calling up. This song is called Masi Mas, and um, I hope you guys enjoy it. And I'll see you in two minutes. Yeah. Woo Cada día tiene su propio destino Conocimiento y madurez de los viejitos Con la energía y voz de los jovencitos Corazón de los pobres con el dinero de los ricos Yo quiero todo grande, chico, melodía y el ritmo Placeres sin dolores, dinero sin labores Más y más We want it all right We want the destination but we don't want the flight We want all the freedom but we don't want the fight We want all the pleasure but we don't want the pain we want the revolution, but we don't want the blood stay. We want a destination, but we don't want the flight. We want all the freedom, but we don't want the fight. We want all the pleasure, but we don't want the pain. We want the revolution, but we don't want the blood stay. Masi, 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 Tell 
Yes, that is 40 Watt Hype. I love those dudes. They got a show coming up. Look them up. You can find them on Facebook. You can find them on Instagram. They're going to be playing at Fulton 55. You will not be disappointed. These guys, um, they do they 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 do a little bit of rap. They do um, they play the dibales. They have um, amazing vocals, and they always put on a great show. So you don't want to miss our local dudes, 40 Watt Hype. And so, anyways, listen, before I forget, Ellie, I just wanted to let you know that, as you heard, I make my own soaps and lotions. Ooh, nice, girl. Yes, this is a $10 bottle. This is vanilla. It's very fragrant. So, so I hear that your lotions are actually formulated with alcohol. <laughs> You want to know how that happened? How did that happen? This is a really, this is a true story. Because I never heard of Mexican waste alcohol, so I'm trying to figure out how this happened. I know, <laughs> right? Okay, I'm thinking about doing a tequila one. But probably about five years ago, I had a friend that was, her son was creating her his own beer company. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's still around. It was called 559. And she was oh, like, I that beer. She, yeah, at a Clovis I think it was at a Clovis. I don't know. And so she was like, let's collaborate. Can you make a beer? No, can you make a lotion and soap out of beer? And I was like, I don't know. I'll try. You know, I've never done that before. And I really love the soap because the soaps um, has, uh, bar what is it called? Barley and hops in it. So it scrubs your face really good. Oh, nice. Yeah. And the lotion itself and the soap has a little touch of beer. And so, you know, I came with this, came up with this formula because it was actually her idea. And then I don't know what happened. They just fell off the face of the planet. They didn't need it. So, hey, man, there, we have local brewery companies out there. I can use your beer because right now I'm using Tecate and Corona. You know what? Um, <laughs> one Mexican my, beer. One of my friends actually turned me on to. Um, it was like. Um, it was a it was a hop, so like you know, I think it was a Budweiser or something. But you put Budweiser in the bin and you put your hair in there, and you let it fermentate over like like overnight, and it makes your hair like really really shiny. Yeah, I've heard yeah. that beer is good for the skin, your skin and your hair, and so I mean it's 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 just a little amount. I mean the 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 lotion and the soap doesn't smell like beer. But it is in there. It's infused with it, and it, it wasn't my idea, but people love it so much that I just continue to make it, so. But that's my excuse for partying. Like, you know, I'm like, like when I have beer all over me and shit like that, I'm not, I'm not partying. It's my lotion. I'm like lotion, you know, I'm exfoliating. It's Dragonfly know? Company. Yeah, Dragonfly Company. It's not me, <laughs> uh, Ossifer. No. <laughs> okay, so anyways, I just wanted to give you my gift. I want you to try my soap and my lotions. And so this I made for in my kitchen, and this is vanilla, so I hope you like it. I do. I appreciate that. Thank that's you. That's my gift. I will try that out. And that's because you're Dragonfly. you're always a really good guest. You're funny, and I appreciate you coming. Well, speaking of comedy, I do have an upcoming show I do want to promote. Um, we have a show on March sixteenth. Uh, it's in Fresno at Bobby Salazar's Blackstone Yay! location. If you've never been to a Bobby Salazar, first of all, the food's delicious. Yes, you, you have to visit one. I'm not sure that's why you've never I'm been going to one. To. March 16th. March 16th. See, even the host is like, fuck yeah, I'm I want going. the next show. You guys don't want to miss this, man, because you want to know what I love? I love comedy. I love good music. I love good drinks and good food. And you, and you forgot good dick. <laughs> <laughs> Can't live without it. <laughs> I mean, you could, but who would want to? <laughs> and we just got knocked off the air. Damn. FCC, there you go. We don't have that here. That would be another show. Remember what you told one of Who? At Tiffy's memorial, why wow. she loved it so much because she was a oh. <laughs> you told her what her pussy needed. She, yeah, she <laughs> needed to get worked the right way. That's all. <laughs> that's another show. That's another memory from the vault. But anyway, we right now we're trying to talk about Ellie Rodriguez's oh, yeah. so, show. March sixteenth, we're gonna be yes. at Bobby Salazar's in Fresno on Blackstone. Uh, our headliner that night will be Aiden Park. He's a very uh, funny Asian comedian from the LA area. Mm, he's very comedy. Fun. Yeah, he does like he's he's been on tons of stuff. If you look him up on YouTube or anywhere, you can Hulu everywhere. You'll find him. He's funny. He's gonna be in town. Yeah, I mean you, you can't go wrong with him. He's a tall Asian guy who's also gay. So. So like, March 16th, is that a Friday, a Saturday, or a Sunday? Or that is a Thursday, Saturday. Saturday. That That's a, a good Saturday. night to go out. I can't yeah. wait. And the tickets are only $10. Our Bobby's Blackstone venue is our bargain venue. So come out, have a good time for $10. You're not going to find anything more cheaper in town because a movie, let alone, is $12. Popcorn, another $8. Mm -hmm. A soda, $5. That's $21. You're mm -hmm. already spending 
Ten dollars, come in, have a great night of entertainment. And why buy popcorn Ew, when you can go to Bobby Salazar's and get yeah. a good taco? Yeah, there you go. Right, tacos, right a there. Margarita. Oh, Watch margaritas. some comedy. Yeah. Oh, I, I, oh, I drink too many margaritas when I'm watching a comedy. <laughs> but it's fun. <laughs> we did a show together. I just remembered that. Yeah. Remember that one time? Yeah, that was at Marlo's. You know what? I should do more of those. That was fun. Yeah, that was really fun. Yeah. I got fucked up that night. <laughs> Did you? Yeah, I got fucked up that night. Coach can buy me drinks. <laughs> nice. But listen, that was another spot. See, one of the fir- one of the best kind of places that you can go to see a show is when there's food that you could buy. Yeah. I mean, nothing better than a restaurant that stays open while there's performances. Oh, right? Speaking of that, um, on our Tulare drag shows that are coming up, you guys will see a video in a few moments. Uh, we'll be having dollar tacos, too. <gasps> Can't beat that. Dollar tacos. And all those proceeds from those tacos go to a charity in town to, to support the Crest Theater. Oh, we yeah. love the Crest yes. Theater. Crest Theater. Crest Theater. They need support? Yeah, they do. I'm try, I'm, I'm a, as a local business myself who promotes, I try to help other local businesses in town. You know they got their movie nights. Yes. They got their movie nights. So then you're working with the owners, yes. I'm, I'm assuming. Are you do, You're doing shows there? Yeah, we just did a show in December. We're probably going to do another show party maybe... Late April or, or late May. Okay, so they have that. That's a movie theater. That's an old movie theater yes. from. It's restored uh, from the like, 40s or the 50s. The 40s yeah. or 50s. Beautiful. 1939. Thank you, brother. My brother uh, knows all about downtown. Um, that is an absolute beauty, beautiful theater. Um, they do. They the, I know they show movies. Yeah, still. they host movies throughout the week. Like uh, Saturdays, Sundays, uh, they do uh, I think like classic movies. And throughout the week, they do right. uh, classic movies and stuff like that. And so what kind of show have you had there, and how many? Um, we've done comedy shows there, and we've done, uh, actually, one of our, it's called uh, our, our Big Drag Show there. Well, we had, it was uh, all ages, where we brought entertainers from L.A., Fresno, San Jose, everywhere. We brought everyone into one place so everyone can experience, like, a drag con, because we don't, uh, if you don't know what a drag con is, it's where you get all these performers and all these different drag artists together, and they're, they're in one venue, so everyone doesn't have to, like, go here or go there or something like that. Right, right. It was a fun night. It was a really fun night. Well, good for you. Yeah. I'm like, proud of you. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. You know what? You're really expanding. I learned from the best, girl. I learned from the best. I watched you. <laughs> so, so. We got to get ideas and pass them on and, you know, yeah. collaborate. We need to collaborate more often. It is. You know, that's, what it, that's, what, that's one thing I noticed about the Central Valley. A lot of people like to stick to themselves, but if you collaborate with people and work with people, especially the city, other venues, other businesses, you can so actually true. grow so much. You are so right. Yeah. And I don't know what that is. I think it's a little bit of small town mentality where we think like, we don't want to share or we don't want to expand. We want to keep everything to ourselves, but that's not really how good business works. Yeah. I think that the more that you expand, the more you reach out, the more you network, the more you help each other, then we'll all come up. Am I right or am I wrong? No, you're right. Ah. And I know at the beginning, I did say something about our local uh, paper. I do support local. Go out, see a show, ha- have them out. Oh, Go you do. Support totally. Support every local place. I just, I try to myself try to bring a bigger show. Like, if you ever see The Greatest Showman, that's the show I like to bring. I like to bring the big entertainment. I like to bring fun for you. Something you've never seen before. Well, you know, the more, I remember when we first met and we were in, you know, you came you came and performed on my show and then I started doing this and you came on my on my talk show and I remember you saying that the more you do it the bigger and the better it gets so yeah. don't forget your own advice I won't don't forget your own advice just keep doing it it's just going to get bigger and better and more and more fun but we got to get this handsome young lady over here to sit with us so introduce who's next our our, our next guest is actually one of my hosts for our drag nights, uh, she's a very talented Mrs. Transgender. She'll be up right now. Come on over. Let me grab in preparations over here. Yeah, don't forget the drink. Yeah. It's my seventh one already, girl. That's right. Yeah. And like- and you can feel free to drink Ellie's yeah. drink because obviously Ellie's trying to act like a like a virgin. <laughs> he. Well, we all love a double fisting, don't we, ladies? <laughs> <laughs> that was off from Rami Gaze right there. <laughs> Woo! Okay, so it, let everybody know who you are and what you do. 
I am Trans Jenner. I am actually one of the hosts for our Drag Nights, um, along with, rest in peace, my grateful friend, Armani Colby. She's not dead. She's just not here. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. But we host alongside with each other, and what we do is just bring these drag shows kind of like a circus, because I know Allie was kind of explaining what a drag queen was, but right. to get down to needy greedy, we're all men in wigs. <laughs> <laughs> and makeup. <laughs> and makeup. I mean, I'm just wearing chapstick and mascara, so it's okay. That's it. Very That's natural. It. Very natural. <laughs> I look like the Joker right now. But it's okay. <laughs> A beautiful Joker. <laughs> oh, me? Thank you. Yes, you. <laughs> so what, what show are you going to be performing at? I will be at both Barmageddon shows as well as um, OK Work. I know Ellie was explaining kind of the premise of OK Work, but if you are a newer queen or know someone who is a um, up and coming king or queen or just been in the game for a while, feel free to come out, come perform. We want to book people. We're always open. We're just one of those open TV, um, open shows. That sounds wonderful. I like when people have open minds. I like when people are have their arms mm -hmm. open for more people coming and booking and don't be afraid call them up who do, who do they need to contact to if they're interested in getting on this show if they would love to um participate in the show they can always contact me my facebook name is trans jenner um with the z not an s because you know trans jenner uh, trans jenner and um instagram trans jenner as well you can also contact ellie Rodriguez on Facebook, um, we can go ahead and get you kind of situated with that. But that's kind of how I got my start too, was yeah. kind of doing these shows. How do you like it? I love it, you know, from being rejected from RuPaul's Drag Race twice. What? <laughs> twice. How dare they? But you know, it's okay. I think one of, one of these days I'm going to get on that show and uh, They're and probably things. very picky and very um, not as open. Probably, probably. We're, we're ruining my good graces here, girl. <laughs> <laughs> But, you know, do, do they know who I think I am? Now, what the heck is wrong with those people? <laughs> right? Totally. Like, I think it's just a fun experience just to come out. Even if you are a drag fan, support local drag. You'll be seeing drag from every other city it's at fun. OK Work. Mm -hmm. It's fun. I mean, when I first became single, me, me and my brother were going out. I, you guys have heard me talk about that many times. And my brother's so cool. I mean, he would take me to downtown before like downtown is revitalized now you mm -hmm. know what i mean like back then downtown was cool but only like the really cool people knew it you know what i mean we're talking about 10 15 years ago something like, like the that underground stuff yeah and then like and then tower district and then um i definitely every everything like getting drunk on tequila or um, going to a drag queen or going to a gay bar that was all firsts with my bro right there <laughs> Titty oh. <laughs> bars, too. Oh, that's true. <laughs> that is true. That is so true. One of the very first times. I'd never even been to a strip club before in my whole entire life. And we were in San Francisco, and my brother was like, wait a second. You want to know what? We walked in. Me and my brother walked into a strip club on accident because we were so damn hungover. We just saw a cool band outside in San Francisco. And, oh, my God. That's another memory from the vault, bro. We were just hungry and hungover. And as it turns out, we finally got some food in us, started looking around, and I was like, what are these poles here for? <laughs> right. Right. Uh, we, were, we, we moseyed in on accident because we were hungover into a strip club during the day. So it was during the day. So we didn't know. The girls weren't out yet. We just thought it was a really flamboyant-looking um, restaurant. <laughs> you thought it was a gay bar, girl. It's all good. <laughs> Yeah, and hey, velvet, the velvet, vel crushed velvet everywhere in little brooms. Oh, then that's a dead giveaway. It's a titty bar. I'm sorry. Super, super, awesome. super awesome. <laughs> awesome time. Anyway, um, yes. So, um, continue. We only got a few minutes left. So I don't know if you want to come back, Ellie. If are you good? All right. So continue. Just give us a few more, a um, little bit more information about what you do. How long have you been doing this? I have been doing this for about a year and a half. Like as mm. far as drag. Um, and that's another thing too is that's how I kind of got my name out there and got started up because 
you would go to these contest little shows here and there, and it the newer, the older queens, it would always be word of mouth and things like that, where mm. uh, we don't like her, don't book her, or don't do this with her, don't do <gasps> no. that. It was, it, I don't want to say it's all don't like that. Don't be clicky, you yeah. bitches. Don't be shady, be a no. lady. <laughs> Unless That's me. right. <laughs> but I mean, I don't want to drag down the whole community as one. It was just certain places. And I know some people can respect that as or understand that. And I know mm. with the comedy scene, it might be like that. Who knows? I don't know. Mm. I'm not trying there, to. You know what? It gets, like <laughs> it gets like that yeah. with scenes. It gets like that with scenes, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. And so we created. Stop it. Yeah. Stop. Stop. Okay, there's <laughs> enough shine for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> that's just how I got my name out there, too, is just kind of going to these shows. And then it just happened that me and Miss Allie over there <laughs> rode on the right paths together. And here we are booking out other newer queens and searching for the next big thing, too. Well, you know what? I'm so glad you guys are doing things. I don't want you guys to stop doing what you're doing and living your life and having a good time. And I'm so proud of Allie over here because she's just always doing something hella cool in Fresno. And um, we gotta uh, we gotta uh, collaborate collaborate again. What do mm-hmm. you say? Sounds good to me. All right, thank all you. right. So thank you guys for coming. You're welcome. No, I really appreciate oh. it. I want to give you a lotion too. I think I brought another one. You want to try my lotion? I will. I will. Okay. <laughs> it's okay. not. It's not okay. the vodka one, right? Because I don't want to get pulled over. I don't smell. make vodka lotion. Although I mean, that's tequila, a good idea. The better one, tequila. <laughs> that's right. No, actually, I make a um, a beer lotion. It's called Cerveza. It's amazing. Okay. I'll but I think it. I have vanilla. I think I have vanilla. I'm gonna give you some. Okay. All right. I love it. Okay, so everybody, I hope you enjoyed my show. Um, I had amazing guests. I had so much fun. And I hope that you guys um, uh, wrote down all the information on the really cool local bands that I played tonight. I hope you guys enjoyed the good music. And I just want to keep doing what I'm doing, just putting out cool stuff like all these amazing people that are here tonight and the shows that they put on. All right, so if you got some talent, if you want to show what you do, talk about your event, I want you to contact Mm -hmm. me because this is a fun show and we have a great time. And before me, you want to know what? I've been noticing there's little shows popping up, trying to do what I do. But I was the first one that was focusing on local music, Mm -hmm. local talent, local restaurants, and now everybody's trying to copy me. And I think that's the cool thing, because you seize the moment, girl. I did it first. You did it first. Fresno Vibes. Yeah, that's right. I was here trying to let everybody, I just want to shine. I want everybody to shine. You know what I mean? Whether it's rock music, punk music, drag queens, restaurants, any kind of business. Athletes. Athletes. I love boxing. I love baseball. Was it hard for you to go out and support and try to get noticed and do things like that? It still is. It still still is. is. Yeah, yeah. I mean, because my show's just a baby. It's only been around for, I think, like, not even a year. Maybe maybe nine months now. Mm -hmm. So, but... The reason why I feel like it's catching on and it's doing well is because of viewership, of course. Mm -hmm. But also, I've noticed there's people out there trying to do shows like mine now. So, you know what they say. Um, we'll when, leave that up to the imagination right there. When somebody copies you, it's flattery. Yeah. So, okay, so again, thank you guys. Thank you guys so much. Thank you, Fresno. I hope you subscribe to my channel. And um, I want to play one last song because um, this shirt right here is uh, The Cult. It's one of my favorite bands. My brother bought me this shirt for my birthday a couple of years back. And uh, if you will, Mr. Wizard, we're going to get the next video. This is a badass rock song, and it is called Love Removal Machine. Oh, I love that song. Thank you. Besos.
for Barbara Gannon's drag show. Yeah. <laughs>